YouTube, Anna here. I'm just hanging out with Cecilia and I wanted to give you a quick update. Um, I am currently cycle day 19. Let me double check to make sure that that is correct. Um, I've been, I switched over to the Ovia app. Yes, cycle day 19. And I don't know if I like it as much as Fertility Friend. I felt like with Fertility Friend at least I could put in IUI. Um, yeah, so I, I actually really liked that I could pick IUI instead of just baby dancing. <laughs> so anyway, but I also do like the Ovia app because it gives you all these like tips and it also tells me when my baby would be born if I conceived the cycle, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So let me preface this with I recently went public um, with my YouTube channel, meaning I put it on my private Facebook and said, hey, I do YouTube. <laughs> Here's my handle. If you want to follow my journey, go ahead. So I would like to start my video by saying, please don't share any sort of news that I may have with like my family members or people that um, that I want to tell myself that I'm I'm pregnant if I am I'm not pregnant I just had the IUI done today so I I just want to hope or I just want to put it out there that I hope that you guys let me share my own news and um, Doug was sort of like now that you're more public with your thing how is that going to affect your channel and what we've decided to do is keep my channel the same for the most part um, and then just um, ask you, my viewers, and my, actually my family and friends that are on my Facebook, to not post things or not say things to people that maybe don't have Facebook or YouTube or whatever, um, so that we can share our news. And hopefully that all goes <laughs> according to plan, because if it doesn't, then, you know, I'll just, like, keep my video secret until I want to announce it to the world and then, um, and then announce it that way. So... That being said, my IUI went very, very well. Um, so Doug um, wasn't nervous at all about um, the analysis that they do beforehand and, and stuff. And his numbers were all fantastic. So that was really exciting. Um, yeah, like double, triple, whatever. Um, thank you for my phone, Zizi. Um, great motility, great everything. Can you say hi to YouTube? Hi, YouTube. Hi. She's like, that is not YouTube. That's a camera. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and then the lady who actually did my IUI, everything about the, like, catheter being put in and stuff wasn't painful. I was really surprised because... My first and second, and maybe my third at UI, um, were painful. I think there was only one that wasn't. And they said, you know, you have a retrograded uterus, and that causes difficulty. Um, but this one, she was like, make sure your bladder's full, and it should help push everything in the right direction. And then the only thing that hurt was like, the transvaginal ultrasound, <laughs> that hurt, that did not feel good at all, and the insertion of the speculum. So, I mean, yeah, that was it. And it was a lot rougher than I remembered it being, so like, it was kind of swapped. Like, I don't remember the speculum hurting, but the catheter hurt for sure. And I can handle a little speculum hurt um, rather than the actual catheter going in hurting. So that was nice. She also, she was pregnant, so that was really nice. She's only like four weeks away from her due date, so um, if I'm pregnant, I, excuse me, probably won't see her again because she'll be on maternity leave. But she was really nice. She gave my husband the option of actually um, pushing the fluid through um, into my uterus just to participate and he was like no <laughs> and I was like no please don't like that's not for us um, but other people like really enjoy having the option of like participating in the actual IUI so 
she was like, I just want to throw it out there. You guys don't have to. And Doug was holding Cecilia the whole time. So he was like, I don't really feel like I have enough hands for that. And I was like, good answer. Because, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want him to like move the catheter and have it be really painful. And then, um, so after the IUI, I was like, can I lay here for a little bit? And she was like, of course, take your time. So I just laid there for maybe five minutes and I didn't really feel anything until we like got out to our car and we started driving away. I was like, I feel cramps. And she warned me like, you may feel some cramping today and, um, and that's all good. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So um, I gave you guys a live OPK that I took um, yesterday, and then this morning with my second morning urine, I took another OPK and it was positive. So I've had three positive OPKs. <laughs> I also took a pregnancy test just to make sure that I wasn't pregnant and negative. So yeah, are you petting the dog? Yes, that's a good girl, petting the dog. So gentle. Um, and then when I had my transvaginal ultrasound, um, they saw on my right side that I had a collapsed sac. So they couldn't measure um, the follicle before it hatched or released or whatever. Do you want to say hi to YouTube again? Hi, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I love you a lot. Do you see Minnie? Hi, Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. There you go. Um, so that means that um, I did ovulate and it was on my right side. So that's all good. Today, like we went, drove home. It's like two hours away. And I've just been like hanging out, trying to like lay on my right side so that like all of the fluid goes that way. <laughs> Um, so hopefully everything is good and I can keep my mind occupied for the next two weeks, which hopefully I can because I have a cruise coming up and a Disney trip coming up, so I have a lot to, like, do and prepare for. So, so yeah. Anyway, that's my update and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye!